Hey guys, Matarian here and welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link Seal Showdown tournament presentation. For those of you that are watching in Discord, we're on Twitch, we're even on YouTube where this video will be posted. The Seal Showdown is inspired by the Yu-Gi-Tuber Simo. Definitely check out his YouTube channel and the Seal Showdown to get a feel of what the Duel Links tournament and how it will work. So we're going to start off with the Ultimate Rising box, guys. That will start on the 13th of November 2021 around about 6.30 New Zealand time. So take that as a note. It'll be a weekly $30 um, tournament that we paid out in New Zealand dollars per week. And it'll feature a different Duel Links box, so we'll progress throughout the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. The overall winner of the most sealed showdowns will win 1000 New Zealand dollars when we catch up with the current um, meta and boxes in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. So what are the rules and requirements of this tournament presentation? We had a wee discussion about this on my Twitch channel. And we'll probably also have a discussion in the Discord about it. And even post on this YouTube video just to get the rules down packed. Um, and all ready to go for next week. Uh, the budget is 10,000 gems for the box only. So if we're, say for example on the Ultimate Rising box, all your 10,000 gems have to be spent on that box. The character selected, you can use cards from that character only in certain circumstances. So I did see in the first box there was Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. So obviously you're going to need three Blue Eyes White Dragons and a Polymerization to be able to execute that play. So that is a certain circumstance where things will be allowed there. Of course to be approved by me, also note that the date of release of the box will restrict you to certain characters that were available at that current time. So Ultimate Rising was released around about 2017. So it'll be only five to six um, original world characters that you can choose from. Uh, pretty much the screenshot requirements to, will have to be sent to the Discord. Once you've redeemed the channel point redemption in stream, a Duelist ID must be given to me once the new count is made to prevent re-rolls. You get one attempt and one attempt only. You've got to use your deck building skill. Many re-rolls will result in an optimal deck and someone taking advantage. So we're trying to prevent that. You've got to one opportunity make it count uh, of course you got to get lucky in the box but that is just the way it is you got to come up with a strategy to try and win the tournament so you got six hours to submit a deck list slash side deck uh, that's a reasonable amount of time to get up to 10,000 gems open up a whole heap of ultimate rising and get deck building if you don't submit in time without reasonable explanation you cannot enter the tournament this time round that is, I think, really fair. Um, just prevent re-rolls again. Um, plus a screenshot of how old the account is. Account can only be one day old when you submit the, um, the um, account. And in that screenshot will show um, how many packs you've opened. So a maximum of 200 is allowed, which is your budget. Please keep an eye on this. Anything over 200 packs will result in the DQ. So it's in your settings at the very top in Duel Links. I can almost probably show you that now. Um, we'll just get the window capture off. So... Just in here um, will be up here. The screenshot that I'd like to see is the days played will be one here. And pretty much the total number of packs open will be 200. Well, whatever amount you spend up to 200 there to build your deck. That's the screenshot that I need to be able um, to play in Sealed Showdown. So it's a $10,000 budget just once again for people that are wondering. Okay guys, so pretty much do note that the Duel Room will have no restrictions on cards. So any cards that are currently in the game at Duel Links that are limited to 1, 2 or 3 will banned. You guys, if you're lucky enough to pull them, can play them in the Sealed Showdown format. Please note, um, with deck construction, cards for the deck must be from the box we are on for Sealed Showdown. There is no exceptions to that. If anyone tries to run a card outside from the box, um, I'm afraid to say that will be an instant disqualification. Um, we're trying to be absolutely fair to everyone. Um, obviously, with money involved in that, people um, are going to be very competitive on this. And we've got to be very strict on those rules. So I'm going to make that very clear. There are no exceptions. Cards must be from the box. No level up, gate rewards, no dream tickets, no card trader cards uh, from um, anything. Skills that add cards to the deck are also forbidden, but that is dependent on the set. Say, for example, we're in a 5Ds box, and you pull pull all the materials that are, say, say Junk Synchron, and we've got Quillabolt Hedgehog. 
um, and you don't have a junk warrior, and then there's a skill save, for example, that can add a junk warrior to the deck. We may allow that depending on the circumstances, going back to the roll at the top. Uh, that is fairly straightforward there. But the entry fee is 500 channel points on my Twitch stream, guys. Once you redeem that, you've got six arrows. Um, once again, to submit that deck list and side deck. Have fun with the tournament. Um, it, they all start, well, the next first one starts on the 13th of November. Uh, that is a Saturday, New Zealand time, and that will start at 6.30pm New Zealand time, guys. So convert that to your time in your part of the world um, for the first one. Then I'll update people when the next ones are in my Discord. We'll try and get it at different parts of the day so many people can take part um, in this tournament. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, presentation for my uh, Dual Link Seal Showdown. Feel free to give me feedback in YouTube comments, also in my Discord Link is in the description for the Discord if you're watching on YouTube. Obviously, if you're reading this in Discord as well, I've got a wee um, presentation point, PowerPoint there. And even if I've mentioned it on Twitch, there's, it's a very good explanation video. And now we'll go over the Ultimate Rising box with you guys for what you're looking forward to with um, your 10,000 gem budget. Okay, guys, this is the first box for the Seal Showdown and Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. The Ultimate Rising, uh, it'll be a $30 tournament, of course. Uh, the Ultimate Dragon is here, unleash its formidable power. The very first box in Duel Links. Stroll down memory lane for a lot of people uh, that have been in the game a very long time. So, this is featuring quite a bit. Uh, Seto Kaiba's strongest signature monster, the Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon. And other Monty monsters such as Axe Raider. So, obviously, if you get Blue-Eyes Ultimate Dragon, guys, um, you will be able to run three Blue-Eyes and a Polymerization. Uh, X Raider um, is a very good beat stick that was in very early Duel Links. Uh, 1700 attack, 1150 defense. Spear Karibo could be useful for a lot of players, obviously, with its ability to um, put monsters into defensive position if they attack. Uh, we've got Fusion Gate as well. We may see some fusion plays from very early on in the um, Ultimate Rising box. Got a few Violong cards as well. Um, Master of the Accurus could be a different strategy people incorporate. Magical Arm Shield. And Reinforcements gives your monster that all handy boost. It's also really other good um, examples of combos here. Axe Raider in order to charge. Um, an explanation of the combo here. The level 4 monster Axe Raider with its powerful 1700 attack allows you to summon it on the spot and dominate the field in the early stage of a duel. If your opponent summoned a stronger monster, destroy it with a quick pay spell order to charge. You can hold the lead and bend with the wind. Some other cards that feature in here, guys. Of course, Hane Hane, which can return a monster um, back to the hand when you flip it up. Magic Jammer could be useful, obviously, with a few uh, spell cards that are going to be uh, played in Sealed Showdown. Sonnet Bird's actually a really good ritual card. There are a few ritual cards in uh, this set. Got Summoner of Illusions, uh, which is a really useful card as well we'll just bring that up you guys tribute one other monster and if you do special summon one fusion monster from your extra deck but destroy it during the end phase of this turn got automus uh action unit uh judgman judgman could be useful for um early um ultimate rising players obviously with 2200 attack a really decent six star monster for our sealed showdown magical hats uh just gives your monster a wee bit of a chance of surviving for the turn uh, four star ladybug of doom a lot of level fours will be played and this is a flip effect that destroys all level four monsters your opponent controls what else have we got here guys what twister that's a wee bit of um removal Let's face up spell and trap card can go shard of greed um have it on the field two turns draw two cards of course there's um the clown strategy with dream clown and class crash clown um that could be a viable strategy just with the uh ten thousand budget uh, yeah, and we've got a few power-ups, sort of Dark Destruction and Book of Secret Arts, that power-up certain monsters. We've got some fusions here in Bakura Box and Crimson Sunbird. Skull Redbird um, will, be, will be a staple in most people's decks. Mooka Mooka could be a good strategy as well, obviously if having heaps of cards in the hand. Um, Mooka Mooka gains 300 attack and defense for each card in the hand. And um, we've got the Fairy card here that can draw you one card, could be useful. Got another Ritual and Crab Turtle. Karate Man, you can double the original attack of this card once per turn. If you use this effect, destroy this card during the end phase. I remember a Karate Man OTK in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, Duel Links back in the day. 
another mask card ready for intercepting which can put a monster into defense if it's warrior or spellcaster some very interesting cards here earthquake we've got fulfillment of contract we've got some of the charmer cards as well that are here generally a decent box for selection here guys like the snake here king of yam makai your strategy will vary based on what you pull so um best of luck to everyone like um there's rituals and fusions a few traps that could be quite useful in situations but yeah, guys, definitely enjoy the tournaments. Like, starting off the Ultimate Rising next week on the 13th of November. Get amongst it. Follow me on Twitch. There'll be a link to my Twitch in the description on YouTube. Obviously, if you're on Discord, everyone knows me through Twitch. And if anyone sees this video, share with your mates as well. Get involved. Like, we will be posting the weekly tournament on YouTube. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed my um, presentation on the first box as well. And we'll see you um, on the dueling field.